Hello and welcome. So I've got a question in my email and it's how do you set up your drone racing tracks? And how do you make your gates? Because they seem really easy to make because they are. But I guess the other question is, is what is drone racing? We love drag racing and going fast. And is it something for you? So today I decided to do a quick video of my drone racing track and what you need to really get into sport. And I guess, what is a drone? This is a drone. This is a quadcopter. This is a 210 quadcopter. It's got four motors. It's got some propellers and it's got a GoPro on it so you can record your racing action. It's what do I need to have a quadcopter myself? So this is my new one. This is a crazy pony. I think it's an H210 frame. And then I just use some of them, my extra carbon fiber pieces to do a frame here. You can also buy these setups, but you know, if you're into making stuff, these are really fun to make. And then this one, I just have a power distribution board right here. And then this is my flight controller. It's the Ombibus uh, F4 with the OSD built into it. Totally sweet. It's my second one's on that one too. And then I'm trying some cheap motors I found on Amazon. These are the iFly knockoff 2205 2580 kv motors with 20% more torque and they were super cheap and then the props have been loving for these dowel props and then they're just a five by what are they yeah five by four by three and then yeah just gopro session and then this one's a 4s so this is a 4s just this one just for tuning is just a 50c and then also my favorite I've been using are these Graphitine 1.3 and these are 65C dish charge. So they're pretty sweet. And then that's my box for all my lipos. And then I just, you just need a receiver. And then the other thing you need are some goggles. Now these are the standard. This is the Fat Shark, uh, what, a V2s, V3s. And then I got the Immersion RC dual band uh, video transmitter. So this is how you see your video. So you can get cheaper versions of these but the better quality you get, the more better your experience will be. And then I guess the last thing I forgot to say are these are the speed controllers. This is what, you know, converts all your power and then tells the motors of how high, how fast to spin. And then these are the 30 amp uh, little bees. These are the new racing ones. And then that has the old school 30 amp. And then I have no issues with those. And then since I'm a spectrum, like, I kind of got a Spectrum on accident, but now I'm stuck with it. And then this is my little uh, SAT S-Bus receiver. And then these are really nice because you just plug them in and then they are super easy to hook up. And then I get really good range with these. And then I just have zip ties with some heat shrink to, for my antennas. So this way I always have good service. So as you can see when I'm at an angle, I got a nice reception there and then I have one on the back just in case it gets away from me or if it's inverted doing flips like that. Burp. And since I broke my antenna, I used a ping pong ball and yeah. And then I brought my computer and then these are both running beta flight. And yeah, yeah, I think that I'll cover that. And I'm a motorhead, as you can see by one of my toys behind me in my sweet DeLorean shirt. That's just as I am that I love racing. Oh. Got Brad versus Stingray. Got Brad up all behind. And we're gaining a little bit. We've had three more Brad Victoria. Ah. Yeah. So, what I love about quadcopter racing is I can do it anywhere. I'm here at my local fly park in Lockheed, Pennsylvania, and I have my track all set up. So you don't really need much to set up a quadcopter racing track. If you have the area the size of a football field, a little smaller, you can set up a track. But this one's a little bigger. It's the multi-GP. And so here's one of my gates. As you can see, this, let's see right down here, these are just three quarter round plastic trim. So I got two eight footers. Ooh. 
and then we zip tied them together and then also I marked two holes in the ground so I put them five feet apart so that way we can be regulation size so once I got them five feet apart and then I held them to I had a five foot stick here so then I got this one and then once I got them pulled together to the right size and then that's when I zip tied them and then this is just three quarter inch pipe wrap and then some white duct tape because they are a little hard to see on the FPV camera and then the same thing I got these little cone discs you can see right here you can pick up a whole pack of a hundred of these for about twenty dollars on Amazon I'll leave the link below and these are really sweet so for the multi GP course that I have set up now it is a hundred cones so a lot of places charge ridiculous prices for 10 so I found a hell of a steal and I figured I'd share it with you guys now when you're setting up these cones the one thing you want to kind of do for the spacing you don't really have to be too accurate but what I kind of do is I tried to walk sideways and then I put my cones down with my right hand and then you want to walk kind of quick and then I do about every five paces five to ten paces depending on your track setup and then I drop another one so you just want to do it really fast because the faster you put these down the straighter they'll be and it makes it a lot easier and also it's a great ab workout trying to pick them all up later because you have to reach down like a hundred times so I got five gates set up and then also you can use a measuring wheel to set up these courses a lot easier and then the other pain is keeping all these where am I at? all these cones straight oh yeah so both my quads do about 70 miles an hour. So this is a really nice course to open them up. But that gate right there always gives me trouble. It's just hard. I gotta got hold bank this whole turn. And then it's right after a straight stretch. So I'm already hauling ass. So yeah. So yeah, you don't really need much. Some of the gates I've found online are like really pricey, but I built those foam gates yeah, for like 10 15 dollars each so they'll save you a lot of money because if you're new to the sport you want to try fpv racing but you're not sure if you want to spend money money on it this is a good entry point and it's also good to set up at your local park and have some fun with friends so i'm gonna do some fun Alrighty, it is super windy super windy so i'll try to show you what my camera footage looks like right now you're being recorded off the gopro because the gopro records separately and then the little orange camera below is what i see with my goggles so you'll see the difference of why you should get better goggles There you have it. This one's a 4S and this guy runs runs for about two and a half minutes, three minutes, depending on how fast you go. So yeah. After stuck on motors, the last lap was with the 2300 KV motors. 
And then this is the new one, so don't judge me on the flying because I'm still working on the tune. And this one has the 2580 KV motors. Which, yep, you'll see the difference. And they both have the same PID settings. So I'm just trying that because I already like it on that quad. So I'll try it on this one. That shit was making me dizzy. Woo! Well, I don't know. This one's got some kind of video issue. And it's the same transmitter as the other one, so I'll have to look at that. But yeah, as you can see, they're both about the same. On a course like this, you can't really. You're not hammered down the whole time, basically. I, you can see I got about two minutes out of that, too, two, three minutes. And then, yeah, I only hammered on it occasionally, but other than that, I was just cruising around and just trying to keep it in control. I guess if you have another question, do they do other stuff besides go fast? Well, I'll show you what else they can do. And it's just a great way to do some sweet, sweet racing. And it's really cheap because you get into the sport, it depends on your setup, but about a thousand dollars get you started. And that gives you about a bunch of batteries, but you can get into the sport as little as $500, but it just depends on your gear. But the good thing is if you buy it once, you don't really have to buy it too much more. So thank you for joining. Thank you for watching this video today. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you like this, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and then maybe I'll do a better online video of sweeter courses. This is just a basic one. But next, I want to do like an LED one with all kinds of cool designs in it and shit. But yeah. So, yep, that ought to do it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.